Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and today we are on a very special mission. We are not actually in Zoodesia Zoo, we are visiting Pavo's house! This is Pavo's beautiful home behind us! And we are here today because we are going to pull a prank. I'm so excited! So, if you guys remember, Pavo and Mara joined forces and they put cake all over my house. They did the great caking of 2016 and they put cake basically all over everybody's homes. It was amazing. I have enough cheese cheesecake to last me forever. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to finish eating all of that cheesecake. And it was really awesome. It definitely is helping me out with food. And I knew we had to do something pretty dramatic to return the favor for those two. And I'm still not sure what we're going to do for Mara just yet. But the perfect solution fell into my hands when we went to check on Bluebell, who had gone and sat with the peafowl for so long. And we saw that Bluebell happen to have tons of peafowl eggs. And in case you guys don't know, Pavo's name actually comes from the Latin name for peafowl, and he is the exotic bird's creator. So all of the exotic birds that you see in our world were once made by him and turned into code by him and added to our world by him. So what better way to prank him and to kind of give homage to the fact that he is the mod author than putting down tons and tons and tons of peacocks all over his yard. So I thought that would be really fun. So that is what we are going to work on today and it seems hello my friend hello there's a pelican here oh goodness and he'll teleport you he'll teleport you it's a teleport pelican oh my gosh maybe tomorrow we will spend a little bit of time touring around Pavo's place because if you guys don't know, Pavo actually has a YouTube channel as well and he does a lot of zoo crafting updates. So he does a ton of them pretty regularly. I wouldn't say every day, but it almost feels like that, just like me. And so he'll put up a ton and you can see him build his exhibits. It is so cool and he has a totally different building style. I just noticed that stone on the roof. That is so awesome. Ah, oh, So I think maybe tomorrow we'll spend a little bit of time kind of visiting and seeing what's going on. All right, puppies, don't you guys jump on on any of his stuff, okay? In fact, I'm kind of, sit, sit ladies. All right, everybody sit, Iris sit. Okay, good, everyone's sitting. Stay here for a second. I kind of just want to peek over here. His chicken coop is so cute. Look at all these chickens in the little chicken coop. That is so adorable. And then I just, I'm gonna walk carefully. What is this? Is this like, oh, I think this is the, oh my gosh, it's the gather item. I forgot about this. And you guys keep telling me to use it. There is a gather items block. And it's amazing, and what it does is it'll pull items into a hopper from around, like into the hopper that it has, from around everywhere. So from around here, if an item hits the ground, it'll pull the item into here. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, I really, and it'll filter some items, huh? So I really need to make one of these. And you, some of you guys were commenting and someone was commenting on Pavo's videos and, were, and asked Pavo to tell me, we need to put it in with the blaze chickens, my beautiful blazing chickens, which I need to breed up some more. And speaking of blazing chickens, here's Fox. This is actually um, Pavo's beautiful phoenix. And you can ride him around. I think only Pavo can ride him. Okay, never mind. More than Pavo can ride him. I'm very sorry, Fox. I'm going to get off you though. Oh, geez. Oh geez, do I have a little hoe? Oh thank goodness, I have a little hoe to be able to like fix this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, pardon me Fox, I'm so sorry. All right, we're putting the lettuce back down. So sorry, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Hopefully that'll repair what I've done. I wanna prank people, I don't wanna like grief them. And what better grief is there? What more tragic grief is there, I should say, than destroying someone's gardens? Oh my gosh, look at the little well. I just wanna check out the Mamiji house really quickly. Oh, you guys, you need to go watch and make these. Look, it's Quill. It's Quill. We left Quill down here. I remember that now. Oh, look at the little roots. Oh, that's so cool. Look at all of this. Look at all the Momijis. They're eating dinner. That's precious. That is so precious. They're gathered around eating some dinner. That is the cutest thing in the world, you guys. Oh, oh, they have a little closet. Hello? Okay, oh, that's like a little space under the stairs. They have little beds. Hello, ladies. Very nice to meet all of you. Very nice to meet all of you indeed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, it's too cute. in this little rock garden section. And I love how the windows are just kind of set in like that. It makes everything look so cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's so neat. I love the little Momiji house. All right, well, that's done. I'm so excited. And now the question of hatching peafowl arises. So we're just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take out these peafowl eggs. 
because they're just stacks and stacks and stacks of them because our peafowl laid so many eggs. And as you guys know, we now have the Prince of Peafowl and he actually lays gold ingots. So that's very exciting. So the question becomes, how many peafowl should I put where? I think I might put a lot in the front yard. We might put a couple in the house. We'll just have to, we'll have to see how many we end up with. So you guys ready for this? It is the great peafowl prank. And we're going to begin it now. All right. So many peafowl eggs. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's see if we're gonna get any babies. <gasps> it's a baby peafowl! We're up to one! All right, come on. Ah, oh, just one per stack of eggs. Oh, two, three. Whoops, I'm sorry, little one. Are you okay? Okay, he's okay. He's just running away from me. And then we've got tons of eggshells. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. All right. Come on, come on. I need more than this. I need more than this. Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, he's okay. Oh, look, it's a little fisher. Oh, wait. Are you okay? Okay, let me get you out of there. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Oh dear me, okay, we've got him. We've got him. All right, there we go. Oh, there we go, look how cute they are. Look how cute. Okay, I'm gonna throw these carefully now. <gasps> There's another baby, yay! I don't even know how many we've already got, but I'm happy with the number we're starting to get. All right, let's throw this. Okay, there's another one, there's another one. <gasps> yay, look at that! Oh, they're really starting to go all over the place. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, watch out, little guy. Okay, good, he dodged the egg. All right, let's keep throwing it. Oh, there's another one! Yes! Oh, you guys! Oh, there's so many baby peafowl! I'm so excited! They're coming over to hang out with my dogs. Oh, gosh. At least they have the telepeacock. He can tell them the ways of the world and the peacock. All right, let's keep going. Stacks and stacks and stacks of eggs. Stacks and stacks, Lily and Iris. All right, keep moving, keep moving. Anything there? Nope. All right, let's keep moving. Maybe if I just, like, run? All right, we'll just, like, start, like... There we go. Just kind of we're off in a run and we'll just go at like a sharp angle and just hatch eggs as quickly as we can All right. Oh my gosh. There's so many eggs. This is gonna be awesome. Let me put the eggshells away Hello little ones. Oh look they're everywhere now. Oh, this is so fun More babies more babies more babies. I demand more peafowl babies. Whoops. There's a peafowl baby. Oh There goes another one. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. Am I gonna get any from the stack? Oh, I got another one. Okay, I gotta throw a little slower. Oh, and I got another one. I keep smacking him in the rump with eggs. Oh, look at all of them. It's starting to sound like my peafowl garden. That's, that's where all these eggs came from. Oh my gosh, sorry little guy. And these still aren't all of the eggs that I have either. Oh my goodness. And not even counting all the ones that we've traded over time. Look at all of them. They're so cute, they're so cute. Hi, bubbies! Just wait till they start growing up and then they start laying peafowl eggs everywhere. It's gonna be, it's gonna be ridiculous. Alright, let's see. And... Any more? Any more? Hi, guys! I know! I know! Alright, toss, 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 toss. We're not getting any triplets. I'm kind of hoping... Oh, I'm sorry! I'm kind of hoping for twins or triplets. No such luck so far. We have ended up with twin and triplets for the parrots before. There's another one! Yay! Alright, keep coming. Keep coming, little babies. Alright, anything? Oh, there we go. Was that twins? No, I think one just ran over to us. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, this is so cool. I think he'll be happy. I mean, come on. Pavo would make the perfect peafowl daddy. He would be a perfect peafowl daddy. And actually, that makes me wonder how the female and male peafowl might take care of the peafowl chicks. I'm pretty sure it's a female-only job. But I'm not entirely sure, so it would be interesting to know if they still stick around in a group. So, let's see. Alright, hi little ones, watch out, I don't accidentally keep- <laughs> I just feel so bad. No, I feel so bad when you accidentally hit him with the eggs! Oh no, I need to have said that and then like this tiny bit of lag, oh dear. Alright, let's keep going. Plenty of peafowl. Alright, there's another baby. Welcome to the world, little guys! Welcome to the world! Oh, now we're really getting going. <laughs> Look at all the babies! Look at all of them! It's perfect! It's so perfect! Alright, and any more babies? Egg, eggshell, eggshell. These might be getting to some older eggs. Alright. I know that doesn't actually affect it, but it's always fun to have a little imagination. I'll be able to use these eggshells for quite a few things. Alright, and we still have more! I knew I brought so many peafowl eggs. Alright, let's keep going. I want to see more babies. Alright, maybe if I throw this way. There we go. Maybe if I just start chucking them. Like, long distance, too? Did I get a long distance baby? Oh, gosh. <laughs> there was a weird bit of lag there. Alright. Do, 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 do. 
Any babies? Any babies? Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. Two more babies. <laughs> Come on, babies. Come on, baby peafowls. Look at all of you. You're so cute. There's another baby. Yay! Oh, this is the perfect spot. Okay, I'll just like launch him from over here. Baby peafowl. Baby peafowl. Come on, baby peafowl. All right, we're almost done. Come on. Oh, look at all of them. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to smack you. All right, and we've got a lot of eggshells. Wow, we've smashed a lot of eggs. Oh, and we still have more. Okay. All right, let's come down. I'm well pleased with this. Look at this, guys. Look at all of these. He's going to come back and there's going to be baby peafowl absolutely everywhere. It's perfect. It's the perfect Pavo prank. All right. And any more babies? Any more babies? There's another baby. All right, there's one baby. All right, let's keep moving. Keep moving. All right, what about here? Hello, little ones. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's perfect. It's so perfect. Okay, and we'll keep going this way. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. More babies. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. I didn't mean to smack you. And go, 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 go. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. All right, and there we go. So I have no idea how many we have now. Maybe some of you guys would be able to count them. But one, two, three, four. Let's see. Five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. At least 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, probably close to 30 PFAL babies are in here now. That's so cool. I think that it's going to be quite the fun little addition to Pavo's family. Oh, there's definitely at least 30. Look at all these ones back here. I think it's going to be a wonderful, if noisy, addition to Pavo's family, and I hope he enjoys. Uh, it's quite entertaining to see so many of them. Maybe he even got one of the rare white PFAL out of the deal, too. That would be very exciting if he just accidentally ended up with one. That would be really cool, because then he'd have a bunch of like a gold ingot laying peafowl. All right, so that is that, my friends. We have now pranked Pavo with many, many, many a peafowl. And they're really, really, really adorable. But all right, so I actually do want to kind of tour his place a little bit. So let's just take a quick peek inside his house, just really quickly. I don't think he'll mind. And after that, tomorrow, we will probably... There we go, noisy people. Oh, look at the kitchen! I love how he does the kitchen floor in the classic tile pattern. And tomorrow, I think we might spend a little bit of time uh, actually, like, traveling around... Oh, what's over here? Oh, is that sushi? That's so cool! We might spend some time... Oh, what's going on? Why are my puppies hurt? Who's having... Who's having difficulties? Are the people, like, fighting us? Are they biting back? Alright, come here, ladies. I don't know why... All right, ladies, why don't you guys sit here for now? Lily, come here. Lily, sit. Good girl. Look at all the babies. Oh, that's perfect. Do you want to go inside? You can come inside. I'll just leave the door open and we'll see if some wander inside. But yeah, this is hopefully okay if I'm just going to take a quick little peek. Look at this. There's cake. Cake. Oh, it's a little dining room, little sitting room even, like a little sunroom. <gasps> Look at that. A completed vase. Very nice. Oh, one of the enchanting, pick your own enchantment uh, little crafting tables there very nice beautiful fireplace oh I like that I like it I like it look at the size of it I always feel like I'm wandering a mansion oh my gosh what what you guys go look at this he made like a map oh my gosh and it's full of butterflies and dragonflies and like a little, is this supposed to be like grass and turf? Oh, wow. This is very relaxing. And somewhere nearby there is a tiger or a lion growling. So that's also very interesting. And he's got so many artifacts. He's been exploring like a madman. Look at all these things. What does this one do? Whoop. Ah, dang it. They get fussy about opening them sometimes. So I don't think I can open them because I don't own them. All right, we're going to come over here. There's a piano. Lovely piano right here. Oh, look, he's starting a little music room with music discs. Oh, that's so cool. And here is a nice... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the vine's growing on top of the glass. I didn't even think about that. That would be so neat. And we've got this beautiful essence berry bush area. Oh, so nice. Is this essence berries? Yep. He's got more essence berries than I do. Oh, a peafowl wandered in. <laughs> a baby peafowl did come in. 
Maybe, no, I'm gonna leave the door open. It's a gentle prank. I, I don't think it's a hardcore prank. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> They're starting to wander in the house. Okay, I'm just gonna let them wander in. It's a very gentle prank, and one I think he'll enjoy. Oh, and there's little books. We need to write him some books. I'm not gonna leave him a book now, because, you know, you gotta leave the prank a little bit of a mystery. Oh, and I watched the episode where he built these. Aren't these plants so cool? They're sculpture plants, and he does a lot of his builds and speed builds even of how he uses the Vincing mod, and it turns out really amazing. Oh my gosh, is that baby already all the way over here? Hello, little one! You are you are quite the mover and groover, aren't you? All right, what's over here? That's the library. Here's a nice room. Little bedroom. Um, may I just take a little peek? Oh, it's like a little washroom. Oh, wow, he even- oh, look at it, it looks out on the Sakura plant tree. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, he even made a little washroom, which I always forget to do. I, I end up making, like, more plant rooms. Katrina's room. Oh my gosh, and there's a pelican in here. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. So Katrina, I think, is his little maid. And then, more bedrooms. Oh, what's this? I didn't know there- this was up here. I think I've been here before. Hello? Oh my! We're on the roof! Wow! What's over here? Oh, man! I know he just made some of these things. Oh, well, we're gonna take just a teensy peek. Because I think it's okay if we just take a little, little bitty peek. Uh, what's going on? Especially over here where he's completed some of his exhibit areas. And I want you guys to see him so that you'll get all excited and you will go watch him. Go, go, go watch him! Go watch him build him. Because he's doing really good work. I am really proud and excited and just so happy to see as he gets used to recording and doing more. It's awesome little peepals. <laughs> They've broken in for the rum. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But all right. So there we go. Little baby peepals. Um, I'll go ahead and close the door so nothing else wanders in. There's just a few of them inside. And there we go, you guys. So we have given Pavo a little fun prank. And we are going to head off and we're going to tour some of his grounds tomorrow morning. And poor Zoe. Zoe, you're hungry. Why didn't you tell me, Zoe? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't I bring you food, Zoe? Why didn't I bring you food? Okay, I'm going to put Zoe away for now. I'm so sorry, Zozo. I'm so sorry. All right, and I better put the other girls away. Hmm. Because there's no food. Lily's about to go starve, too. Darn. So I'll have to get the ladies some food if we happen to wander across any. But if not, I will see you guys in the morning where we will be going and we will be visiting some more of Paolo's area so you can get used to what he's doing over here because it's amazing! And until then, guys, I hope you're all having fun. And remember, stay curious. Bye-bye, guys.